I made a POV a couple days ago about police brutality and Black Lives Matter, and this unfortunate human being comments, I think it's so funny when you guys try to garner sympathy, hashtag Black Crimes Matter. I was gonna make an entire video about the adversity that black people have to go through, but then I went to his profile and there was a 50 year old man that looked like he peaked in high school, and even then he was benched for all of his football games and wasn't able to go to prom because his grades were ineligible. Tom, babe, I don't know how you do things where you're from, but let me tell you this, I'm not the one. I'm not the one. Be humble. Hold your purse, clench your keys. You can't ever trust a black man, they always fighting for civil peace. Black man gets shot because he breathes while white man shoots me for free. And of course, freedom of speech, freedom to arm. But when you're black, you just get harmed out losing daughters, losing sons, losing mothers, but not the guns. You'll say violence, don't fight violence while little boys get shot at ease. And you say we bleed the same blood. Fuck you! Your people treat us like a disease. You use your knee, but fight the bleed, dodging bullets, dodging fees. And yes, I don't like violence, that's destructive. But my people are dying, and I want justice. Freedom, I can't move. Freedom, come here loose, yeah. Freedom, freedom, where are you? I need freedom too. I break chains all by myself. Let my freedom ride in hell, hey. I'ma keep it running cause the way they don't quit on themselves, no. I'ma keep it running cause the winner don't quit on themselves. Do y'all do y'all mind if I go off for a quick sec? Cool, thanks. Uh, just to, uh, you, you know, respond to all the burning down things isn't the way to get what you want. First of all, y'all didn't want to listen to what we had to say peacefully. So apparently violence is the only way to get your attention. Also to respond to all the how is burning down our city and our country going to help anything? First of all, your, your, your country? Your country? Because last time I checked, weren't the Native Americans here? And then you guys came and you killed and then stole their lit, and then you brought in blacks, Latino, and Asians to do the work for, because slavery. Sis, this ain't your land. This is not your country. You stole this land from the Native Americans and then brought in other minorities to do the work for you to build this country because you're too lazy to do your own goddamn work. So this bitch will burn to the ground if we see fit. Okay. And don't forget, we're protesting for innocent black lives being lost. Buildings can be rebuilt. Lives cannot. And then we won't judge you by your color, because you all act the same. You're ruthless. You do whatever you want. Exactly. Okay, so in case you don't know, she's actually referring to black people when she says that we're all ruthless. And clearly she doesn't understand what ruthless means. So let me explain to you real quick. Ruthless is your ancestors coming over here, killing Native Americans and stripping them from their land. Ruthless is shipping black people over from Africa, treating them as a piece of property and forcing them to build a country that oppresses them. Ruthless is segregating black people from participating in every single day activities because they were seen as disgusting and less. Ruthless is stripping Latino children away from their parents and forcing their parents to go to concentration camps, treating them like shit until they get sent back to their home country. Country. Ruthless is innocent lives being taken from the very people that are supposed to protect them simply because of the color of their skin. So don't tell me about ruthless because at this point we have every single fucking right to be ruthless. COVID-19 is what they told us to fear. 19 years is what a Minnesota cop called a career. Yeah, that's how many years he was on the force before he killed George Floyd with no remorse. Put his knee on his neck without a worry or care while big man Floyd was gasping for air. These cops go through life with care and ease while one of my brothers pleads, I can't breathe. Quick to do the woe and dance savage on TikTok. But I've been looking at your posts. You've been silent, so kick rocks. These innocent names have been turned into hashtags and the deaths we could avoid. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. Rest in peace, George Floyd. Why are they here, sir? I'm tired of being peaceful. We own the I ground. 
three brothers to this, sir. Three. This is not all right. I'm hurt. You don't see my eyes. I'm hurt. My people out here hurt. I'm tired of this. I'm not sitting down. If I got to die behind my color, I'm going to die about it. My, my kids after me, they going to walk these streets crazy. Just like everybody else can walk these streets crazy. I'm not standing down. I'm black and I'm brown and I'm strong. Stand down. And I don't don't strong. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No no Police. No justice. No peace. This is the youngest person to be sentenced to death. This is George Steiny Jr. and he was just 14 when he was executed. During the trial, he always carried a Bible claiming his innocence. He was accused of killing two white girls, one 11 years old and one 7 years old. The body of the two girls was found outside his house and his parents' house. The trial lasted two hours but was decided 10 minutes after. The boy's parents were not allowed in the courtroom and they were expelled from the city. For the trial, he spent 81 days in prison without being able to see his parents or anybody. After the 80 days and he was sentenced, they killed him with 5,300 80 volts to the head. 70 years later in 2014, a judge in South Carolina actually proved that he was innocent.